everybody. Um, so I have been in the technology business for, for 20 years, actually a little more. Began as a worker at big companies like at and I've been a builder of my own companies, and for the last five years, I've been an investor in other people's companies here in the Pacific Northwest. And it's been kind of a crazy journey, um, because when I began, the internet didn't exist. And over the last 20 years, are these slides rolling? Doesn't look right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> There's been an explosion of opportunity to touch people's lives through technology. Again, from zero, when I started, there are now two billion humans connected worldwide through the internet and more every day. So a crazy opportunity to, to actually reach out and touch people globally, not just in the US. At the same time, there's been a complete collapse in the cost of doing this. So when I began, it was literally tens of millions of dollars to build technology to reach small audiences. Because of open source and cloud and, and mobile technologies, literally three guys and a dog with a credit card can build amazing technology and touch two billion people's lives. So th this is hyperbole, but bear with me. For me, it feels like software is the operating system of human progress. If you want to touch people's lives, it has never cost so little to have such big an, an impact on, on people's lives around the world if you know how to program, if you know how to touch people's lives through the internet. There's an implication here, which is because things are getting cheaper and faster and smarter really fast, this isn't just about the technology community or technology companies. This is, this is rolling across the entire economy globally, so whether it's government or healthcare or education or retailing or manufacturing. The power of software is changing the way that everything works. And this is available to anyone, anywhere. This is not a first world thing. This is not a Silicon Valley thing. Globally democratized innovation at scale. Anybody can make and consume bits around the world, which is, again, it just for me, it blows my mind. It's like my, my passion in life. I'm so excited about this, but there's a constraint. There's a bottleneck in this world, and it's you guys in this room tonight. People who have these skills, there aren't enough of you out there. So the bottleneck to human advancement, if you buy that software is the operating system of progress, the bottleneck is people that have these skills. For the first time in the history of Western capitalism, talent has more leverage in the economy than capital. And, and, and this has never happened before. Literally, people, the people, so Mark Zuckerberg owns 40% of a $50 billion business that he built in six years because he had skills that nobody else had. This is a unique moment. This will not last forever. And so what I wanna do tonight is talk to you about how to maximize, like, make you aware that you have this capacity for change and maximize your opportunity and your exposure to ways to get into the mix. We all want to make meaning with our lives. We all want to do something that matters. And often the question is, can I make meaning? How do I make meaning? For makers, the question is not can or how. It's what kind of an impact do you want to have? You have incredible power in your hands. You have to realize and seize that power. There are three things I want to ask you to do. One, you've already done it because you're here tonight. Seek density. Get with your people. Maximize your chances of serendipity, of opportunity, and of, and of a crowd of peers that's gonna push you to be your very best, because this is a moment in time when you, when you need to reach beyond what you think you can do. Second, be visible. When you're not in this room, make sure you leave a, a digital exhaust of what you care about, what you're passionate about, what you can do. Do it on GitHub, do it on Dribbble, Twitter, Facebook, because the world will find you. If you put yourself out there, the world needs you, and they will pull you into opportunities you never expected. Third, and if, if you wanna make the leap, not everybody does, I actually just met a guy earlier tonight who's gonna do, he just quit his job and he's gonna do this. Have the courage to claim authorship of the future. Don't just accept the future, make the future. You can do it and now is your time to do it. If you choose to do this, you have nothing to fear. The world needs you so much that if you fall as a digital creative right now, there will, hands will reach out to pick you up immediately. The only thing to fear is not trying because this is a unique moment in time. I don't want you to waste this moment. If you're gonna do it, Here's the things you gotta do. Surround yourself with talent. You are the talent. Seek people that have an insatiable curiosity. They just wanna know stuff, and not just about tech, about everything, and they need to turn that into stuff. They need to build, they need to create, they need to make. This is a kind of art. Next, and so I'm gonna talk about my own business, money isn't that useful except to go fast. When there are no barriers to entry, lots of people have good ideas. If you wanna get their first and best, money gives you speed, and that's really all it's good for. And there's another way to create impact, which is lots of big institutions around the world and we're gonna to get to this in a minute. Nonprofit, for-profit, government, they all need your skills as well. They are desperate for innovation, technology innovation, and what they have, they have, the, they have brand, they have trust, they have reach, they have access. Take your ideas to them and help them drive your ideas into the world. They can help you create leverage. Archimedes said, give me a lever and a place to stand and I will move the world. You hold the lever, technology is your lever, you can move the world, don't miss your opportunity. This is your time. The last thing I will ask you to do is, you know, your life is a gift. All of our lives are a gift. Your skills are a gift. This moment in history is a gift. Please don't wait. Seize this moment. Get out there and make 
find a way to make meaning with your life in the world. If you have these skills, now is the time. This is what I care about. You can find me here. Thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. Thank you.